And there is a new twist in the battle for control of the state Senate. A conference of independent lawmakers has grabbed leadership out of the Democrats' hands. They've struck a deal with Republicans that will keep the GOP in charge of the Senate. Pat Bailey's been following this story for us tonight, and he joins us live from the newsroom now. Pat, what exactly does this mean for the leadership in the Senate this next year? Well, Dory, simply it's going to be shared. Jeff Klein and his independent Democratic conference had been talking with both Republicans and Democrats the past couple of weeks since the election ended. And they gained a lot of power once it did end and the, uh, when the Senate was virtually split with 31 members apiece from each party. And then it was rumored that Jeff Klein was holding out to get a leadership position before he struck a deal. Well, today he did just that, struck a deal with the Republicans that will give him joint leadership of the Senate. The now five independent Democrats, Senate Minority Leader, Malcolm Smith jumped ship this morning to join them. He, they will all side now with the Republicans next year. The deal worked out means Senator Dean Skelos will split the president role of the Senate with Jeff Klein, the head of the IDC. Every two weeks, Skelos and Klein will rotate as leader of the Senate. The GOP says this move guarantees a functional state government next year. One political advisor says there should be no holdups come the first of the year, and the newly formed coalition should hit the ground running. Actually, I expect it to be fairly smooth. This is not a new relationship. It's it's a it's a, a a grown relationship. It's one that's going to take on some new dimensions, but it's not new. So the relationships are really established, and I think that they need to work through some of the mechanics. But the important thing is that they they found a way to work together before, and I think that that basis really will kind of work going forward. Now, as you can imagine, the uh, Democrats in the state Senate not too happy. Today they put out this statement saying, quote, This is not a coalition but a group against all New Yorkers who voted for Democrat control of the Senate and a progressive state government. Sadly, the real victims of today's announcement are the people of our state who clearly expressed desire for progress on a host of issues will now be scuttled. End quote. Now, a lot of questions remain tonight, some big ones out there. Probably the biggest of all, with a rotating leadership role, how much will both Skelos and Klein have in the budget process? That started already this year. Also, specific agendas. The Independent Democratic Conference in the past and today, again, saying they want to push for a minimum wage hike. Senate Republicans, not as willing. So that will be interesting to see how this newly formed coalition will handle split agendas like that. Also, that all remains to be seen next year. And I spoke with a senator today who said we could see as early as next January 9th, just a few weeks out when the state of the state is held. That could be the first time we see this newly formed coalition uh, uh, live here in Albany. For now, we're live in the newsroom. Pat Bailey, CBS 6 News.